Good afternoon, everybody. Jeremy Johnson uh, back with you guys after missing a couple months. You know, Shannon filled in for me, but uh, covering down on the May monthly market update. I um, want to hit a couple topics here, and then, of course, it's going to be a three-part again. Uh, in the third part, I'll be talking about interest rates and kind of giving you some in information on what's going on with the feds and everything with the interest rates and uh, why we're not seeing them tick down as fast as we thought. But the first one I want to talk about, the first episode is going to be affordability um, is at an, at an all-time high with interest rates where they're at um, and house prices higher than they've ever been. Uh, obviously, which is why we always say in the housing market that it's the best investment is buying a house. But uh, affordability and kind of what what builders are doing uh, to kind of get after that. Um, and the first the slide I want to start off with here is builders are building smaller homes. So if you remember a couple months ago, I told you that uh, builders for, you know, it was like a 16 to 20 year stretch weren't even meeting their expectations since the 2008 housing crash on the number of houses being built, which kind of uh, resulted in the um, housing market that we're in and why we've been in such a, a, a long seller's market. But builders are, are really getting after it. They met their goal for the first time last year. And I think it was like almost 16 years. Um, and this slide shows you here with that affordability um how, what what they're doing to get after and they're building smaller homes so uh more than a third of the builders built uh smaller homes in 2023 and they're projecting to build smaller homes uh, more than a quarter of those builders are uh projected to build smaller homes um uh, this year as well um that'll help get the affordability down um and just uh, really allow individuals first-time home buyers um younger individuals the opportunity to still live the american dream and buy uh, buy a home and this next slide here shows you just kind of a, tr a, a trend from 2003 to 2023 of the average sizes of houses uh, um the median square footage of finished areas that buyers wanted um, and the kind of the desires. And you see in 2003, it was at a little bit over 2,200 square foot, 2,260 square foot. And it's peaked and valleyed, but you know, since 2020 and up till now, or 2015, excuse me, up until now, smaller homes have been a little bit more desirable because they're more affordable, especially now. Um, so last year, um, the, the median square footage of finished areas that buyers wanted was just a hair over 2,000 square foot. So this slide here just kind of reiterates from the National Association of uh, home builders after a brief increase during the post COVID building boom, um, because interest rates were at an all time low. So individuals were looking at build bigger houses because they could afford bigger houses. Um, home, home sizes are trending lower and will likely continue to do so as housing affordability remains constrained with interest rates and house prices going up. So next slide I wanted to show you here was new single family homes are also getting smaller. Just kind of reiterating that. Um, you can see here from 2020 until quarter four of 2023, just the average sizes. And you can see that peak in the pandemic years uh, when the average sizes bigger bigger homes were being built um, and now they're kind of downsizing to get to that get after that affordability so builders are doing things to um, to get after that affordability um, which is very important next slide I want to show you is uh, new built homes are getting smaller because they're kind of reiterating the same points here average size today of a 2402 square foot is down 10.3 percent since 2018 so again things to get after affordability is the smaller homes builders are getting after it and you can kind of you can see just over the last six years that the average size has, has decreased um, from 2700 down to the 2400 uh square foot range the last slide here i want to leave you with is home builders are, are adapting to the lowest affordability uh on record by building smaller homes and offering more incentives and price cuts so there are ways we can get after it um have to modify some expectations um, but just figuring out what your family needs and knowing that the builders that are, you know, who we're going to need to get out of this seller's market is um, absolutely uh, uh, getting after it by building smaller homes, which are more affordable, especially in the interest rates that we're in today. Um, so that's on the new, that's on the horizon for affordability and why you're starting to see uh, smaller homes being built. So that's for episode one. The next episode we're going to talk about uh, is Gen Z's and uh the question is, will I be ever, will I ever be able to afford a home? So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.